Hey, welcome back to Left 4 Dead Garage. Working on Pinky a little bit. I've got a short week here and I'm moving a little slow because I keep managing to get myself hurt. So, uh, I don't have them with me, but I have made, these are not the spacers, but the spacers to space this assembly off the frame rail. I have made those and managed to leave those at work. But I won't need those until the end because I'm not taking this thing off just to put spacers on just to take it back off so the important thing in this video is trying to rearrange these pedals uh, the pedal mounting for the pedal pad um, in this picture here sent uh, Eric from uh, Bad Donkey Garage which is just right up the road from me um, it's a perfect picture on, on pedal alignment um, And in most things that I have, the brake pedal is, is like directly in line with the steering column. So this will actually show you how off this is if the brake pedal should be in line with the steering column. Because it, the clutch pedal is closer to being in line, if I move my hand you can see, than the brake pedal. So like I was saying, this tab needs to come over here. The bad thing is, that puts it too close to this guy so we now have a clutch which you know even for hydraulic this thing's pretty stout so we now have a clutch pedal and we know how much travel this pedal is going to have i'm going to have to get crafty i kind of got an idea what to do with this so i'm going to sort of recreate this thing but not just stick it to the end of this pedal rod and weld it. I'm going to mill a section out in it so it actually sits on there, lines itself up, and kind of locks in, and then I'll weld it. This side, however, I may have to do differently. I may come off... Man, I don't know. I just can't figure it. Like, I guess I should really make this pedal tab pedal pad tab does that make sense um, to see where we're going to sit because i want to move it as far as i can but not make it not create a new problem for myself uh, i could put a slight bend in this uh, take the grinder and put me grind me like a notch in it and then bend it over and then do my tab I need to kind of get an idea how far down that I can go without hitting the hitting the floorboard so let me start out by cutting these tabs off and uh, We'll see if we can't create something. All right, I got these things cut off. Uh, I'm gonna take this one to work with me tomorrow so I can get the right thread, right tap, and try to sketch me out something down here. Um, I got some flat bars stuck aside. It's a scrap piece, but it's got some sections in it that I can cut out. You know, I think it was uh, inch wide, half thick. I'm pretty sure there's enough sections in there to do what I want to do here. Um, I've got the pedal marked roughly with the with the clutch fully compressed or depressed, however. Oh, kind of hurts. Let me do it like this. But I sat in here and then leaned over there and marked it. So right about there is where far as it'll go. So any type of z bend or notch or whatever has to happen above this so i'm i'm going to say just split the middle and go about right here so what i'm thinking is notch it here bend it over because to get a good idea of what we got going on here just say well this thing's loose now let's just say that would roughly put the pedal in line with the steering column which would be ideal 
but you see how close that would be to that. So it may not, I may not be able to go that far with it, but I'm going to try to go as far as I can, and I feel like this will be our limiting factor. So if I can get another inch out of this, I just don't want it to look hacked up. You know what I mean? Like I hope, I just don't want it to look bad. And I feel like that's the only thing I can do is, is kick this out to the left, and then that way I'll gain me some some gap right here. Groove me a notch in there, bend it over, and then I have to square this back up so my flat stock idea will work. But and you know, and I may have to I may have to put a couple notches in it to get it to where I want, but. We're just going to do one for the time being, and I believe it's going to be right around in there. So let me notch it and see what happens. You know, at, at worst case scenario, it's just steel. Um, I can either copy it and make another one. It would take a little while, but I could do it. Or bend it back, weld it up, take it to work, deck it flat again, and nobody ever know. So, And it would be just as strong. But I'm going to notch it, and we're going to bend it, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm sitting here stinking. I mean thinking and looking at this. I could probably just reuse these tabs instead of trying to reinvent the wheel. Staying on the front side of this piece here like it was, you know, we were originally like this. So you see how far over it was. If I flip it, That makes a huge difference and is still not super close to this pedal arm. So what I could do is I could clean this up with an end mill, put me a nice flat step in there and a shoulder to bank up against so it'll bump flush with that and then weld around it. And then this guy, do the same thing, clean this up, mill me a step in there so it's got a, a shoulder to bank against, and put it right here. So, that will move the pedals a significant amount over and give me room for a throttle pedal. So I think that's going to be mine now. I'm not going to super weld this just yet. I'm going to tack them where I feel like they need to be. And uh, put me something in here to sit on and try them out. And uh, move them accordingly if I need to move them. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this video probably won't be too long. Which the others have went drastically too long. And I try to avoid that. I just can't do that. But I think that's the that's the game plan right now is take these to work, mill these pieces into them, and uh, tomorrow we'll tack them on there and uh, see how see see how it feels and looks and whatnot on a makeshift seat. So see you tomorrow. All right, I uh, got these pieces kind of notched with the end mill, and then uh, ground all the most of the yellow paint off and put me a nice edge break on there to weld into something good and good and sturdy same way with this one these pieces are different lengths so the longer one I've decided I will put on the clutch pedal arm I got these guys kind of prepped which I could probably bring that yellow paint back a little bit more but I'm going to tack it on this inside here and the outside here pretty heavily that way I can still you know make sure they're straight and both in roughly the same location um, I thought about kicking them back a little bit but that might be sketchy once the pedal gets down in there it may it may not be flat or what have you I don't know if that makes sense or not so instead of getting crazy and taking chances with somebody else's stuff I'll just make sure they're straight up and down and straight across with one another 
and uh, although I think we lost the tad of length when I bent this piece out of the way but I don't think it'll be noticeable I can't get too crazy with it because I only have so much that goes through the floor so let me tack this guy on there and uh, same way with that uh, brake pedal tab we'll stick the stick the pads on and kind of get an eyeball left right up to down kind of deal and also with the with the column alignment so let's uh let's hot glue this thing together competition products your source for hardcore engine parts for street strip and oval track our free catalog is packed with hundreds of product lines from the best known manufacturers in the performance industry lowest prices guaranteed free shipping and handling on all orders over 149 dollars in the continental u.s need expert advice our knowledgeable staff is just a phone call away competition product race parts sold by racers since 1970. Not the greatest tack weld I've ever done. It was very awkward to hold this and didn't have a ground. So I'm also going to have to grind me a new ground. I don't believe it'll ground through that pedal arm to the other side, so let me clean me up a spot. I'm going to send this to be powder coated, so it's okay. Got enough to be pushing that clutch pedal down, but really what I need to know is what am I looking at for? I mean, I really feel like I can, that can, that'll fly. I mean, because if your foot's here, and if it does hit the brake pedal, well, it's got this convenient little slope in it now, so you know what I mean, like push your foot over. So that's hot, just letting you know I touched the back of that. Um, and you can see the difference. Like this one probably needs to come out just a little bit to be. What I could do is I could push this pedal. This one looks pretty straight to me. Push this pedal down around a straight edge and then bend this one out so they're both running together. I don't know what that would be called. I'm kind of dumb. So. But I think I'm going to tack this one just a little bit more and then we'll pull it out some and uh, I guess leave it at that because they look pretty straight as far as the top and the bottom goes. This one's just kind of kicked in a little. It was real tough to hold that with the vice grip and try to weld it. A very awkward position. Also remember, I'm not a welder. I just have a welder. So, pull this guy back off. I have one more little, well, I could probably pull on it some. Let's see what it does. It breaks off, it breaks off. Right. 
All right, that looks much better if you look down through there. Definitely live with that. Well, I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this booger up that I should have done and uh, pull this guy back off and I'm gonna just weld this backside and this backside here. Then we'll, then we'll finish welding it with them off the truck. Uh, figure while I got grinder and welder out, We'll, we'll finish up the, we'll weld up these holes in the frame and that'll be it for this video. Uh, I want to DA the outside of this frame because I'm, this stuff right here will, will not get the frame as slick as it needs to be. And I'll also tape it off and I'll spray it. I got some chassis and roll bar paint in there. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'll DA the paint off, get it good and clean because I ain't going to, I don't want to flap wheel mark it up or whatever. It's not my truck and it needs to look as good as it possibly can. So. Let me weld this up and we'll get ready to weld some holes in the frame. Well, the plan was to weld that stuff up and I was even going to take care of this and I made me a little deal to drop in that hole, which is not the same size, but it's close enough. And I was going to put a washer on the outside and hold it with this stud and weld all that up. And then I got the frame prepped. The DA idea didn't work like I had planned. It's probably too dark for you to see but I've got the holes cleaned up. I'll miss them two in there. Actually, no, I can, might be able to put those back because that's running board bracket. But I don't know if, uh, I don't know if the new pedal assembly gets in the way of that. We'll have to look at that. Well, I got the inside prepped as well, but out of gas on the welder. I believe I left it on at some point. So, with that being said, short video, got the pedals where they're going to be pedaling, and uh, I got plenty of welding left to do anyway, because we got to figure out, we got to clean this up, uh, make a proper master cylinder cover, still have to get a tow board and fix that butchery right here. Um, also, right here in this spot, there is nothing but this fat mat stuff, there's a big hole here big hole here so I guess we could probably patch that when we patch that and uh and it if I'm and really to be honest with you this stuff needs to come out of the way when I uh, because I couldn't get to a couple of holes so pedal assembly needs to come out of the way then I could weld all it up so I guess at this point I'm going to go inside place an order on all my plumbing stuff and uh Next time we dig into this thing, we'll be doing plumbing. So thanks for watching Left 4 Dead Garage. We'll see you on the next one.